Hey, welcome back to The Walking Dead. Just trying to get this off of here. Met this cool ass dude. I don't know, he seems really excited about everything. Oh, you been to prison? Yeah! You got any prison tats? Yeah! Is that a kid? Yeah! Hmm. Ew, what That's are we gonna about do? The only that? Useful thing you yeah, have some tape. Stop signs. Empty. That's what I figured. Damn. What I need is a big set of old boat cutters or something. Well, actually, I might be able to use that train thing that I have. It's empty. A oh, bummer. I thought it was a generator, but okay. All right, all right. This looks familiar. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. So yeah, I gotta be up here. This thing is mangled to hell. Mm. No releasing it? No nothing. If I like, there's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. A big ass pair of bolt cutters or something that would work, or. Like, I swear that little thingy could work, but whatever. It is pretty mangled and bent, which is going to make it a lot harder. I'm not going to be able to lift anything or anything like that. So, maybe if you guys can help me. Am I going to have to tell your people the plan or what? All right, all right, all right, all right. Keep your pants on. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes. Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. <laughs> really, kid? It's probably for the best. I, I get it, like... Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. It's Sounds obvious great. why Kenny's Let's sad, thing. but I think that they did it in kind of a funny way. They make him sound like Eeyore all the time. It's like, well, I better show you around the train. Well, I better show you our supplies. Maybe that's just Kenny's demeanor or something. I really don't know, but it just makes it sound funny to me. We'll see how you guys are doing. Girl Tam. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. It's just as useful in her hands as it is in anyone else's. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez. Long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? What? <laughs> Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. Oh, so he was a professor of, of uh, Civil War history or history of some kind. <laughs> Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Clementine is so happy. All right. Um, how are we gonna get that I'm down? Sure anyway? I will get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. What has he got? A spare concrete cutter in his back pocket? What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, it'd be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. That's weird. I thought that uh, Mead and Krista were together for a second there. Like, well, maybe maybe not together. Maybe they're like, well, no, they gotta be together. Over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right, come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Me and my best buddy, Clemmy. It's like my little sidekick now. Whereas before she was just kind of like, survivors inside, oh no. I bet you 50 bucks they're not alive. 
Somebody was doing some painting. Yeah, I think we can check that out. Somebody was doing a lot of painting. Yeah, and I'm scared to go in here now. Because I'm pretty sure they're not alive. Okay. Dabene, fine silver. The best silver you can buy with money. If you have money, but you don't, because it's a zombie apocalypse. You're not getting that shit out of the bank, because everything's electronic now, and, you know, you don't have the key to the vault, either. Even if there was a zombie apocalypse, I feel like it'd be pretty easy to set society back up you should once wait you for me before trying to open exterminated doors. them. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. You just stay close to me. Uh, let's bust that in. It's not how you bust doors. Put your shoulder into it. I wish I could break that window, though. Yo, Clemmy! I need a rock! Oh, there's boards. Never mind. Maybe Clemmy can climb in through the... Nothing. They're all boarded up. Okay. I can't see in there. Mm, this is a bad sign. We'll have to find a way in. Let's keep looking around. Ooh. Ooh. If that thing works. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Damn it. I could have just driven right through the side of... Oh, but look at that window. You see that window back there? Doesn't look like it's got bolts on it. I bet you I could get in there. If I was so inclined with my uber intelligent brain I could get in there no problem at all yeah that one's still boarded up hasn't changed much since the last time I saw it auto repairs I think that's what that says oh auto parts yeah Mac and gay 1997 wow that is pretty old imports Maccabee. Why oh, I'm reading these signs. Just be an extra thorough. More thorough the better. I don't think I'm getting inside of here. Unless I find something under this here deck. I can always boost Clemmy up on here. Although, I don't think she's going to fit down any chimneys. <laughs> Maybe we could unlock the gate somehow. Come on, sh go on, Clemmy. Shimmy up that. Just go on up there. Oh, I see what we what we're doing now. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in. Yep, I volunteer you. Go, go, go. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Whee! Okay. I can see in. What do I do now? Um, well, uh, tell me what you see. What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the key. What is she doing? It. How does For she? For real? What? I think so. There's like, oh, it's probably bolt action or something. Aha! Well, I'll be damned. Thanks, Clem. Use a bolts. Let's go. Be careful. <laughs> I'm supposed to tell you. Yeah, who's leading the leader here? Come on, sidekick. Get back in your place. Don't let the door close behind you, man. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. I'll get a stick or something. Why don't I just take a big ass crate? Ooh, ooh, there we go. Perfect. Good as new. No. Alright, you follow me, Clem. Don't stay behind. I bet you there's like a, a concrete cutter in here somewhere, or a big cutter. Gonna need some keys, though, if we're gonna be doing anything inside of this here locker. Yeah, I think I see something. Some kind of chainsaw or tool in there. Let me edit. They didn't have much business back then. 
Well, let me check this. What's That's this? exactly what we need. The hell is that? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't look like something that would, you know. All right, but that'll at least weaken it just enough. So we can get inside there. Yeah. Yeah, good place for the blowtorch anyway. I wish it was like one of those movie moments where they pick up the blowtorch and then they start blowing to get in there, but they realize they already have a blowtorch in their hand. That'd be a nice movie moment. Locked up good. So, do I got any tools? What if I use the... No, the tape is useless. Oh-ho! I gotta start looking up There's more. some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Just a tiny little Clemmy could fit in there, I bet you. Come on. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. You are the tiniest Clemmy. All right, let's go. Chop, chop, sidekick. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. I love going over fences. Because I'm tiny. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? Oh, you. snap. Fuck. Shoot him. Oh, shit. Oh, let me blow him away. Oh, snap. Shouldn't have come here. This is a bad idea. Uh, pa. Oh yeah. Yeah, pa. Oh yeah. Come on, come on. Pa, pa. Pa. Oh shit. Ah, uh, I gotta watch it. Oh. Pulling those things out like they're spaghetti. Yeah. Now who are you gonna mess with? Pa, pa. Come on, let me you. Shoot, shoot, shoot it, shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot him! Mm. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Clemmy! What were you doing? You gonna use that thing it's or okay, no? It's okay, everything's fine. Everybody gets gun shy on their first shooting gallery of dead zombie things. Oh no. Shoot it, Clemmy. Keys. Shoot it. There's like 20 keys. Eh. Fuck, it's still locked. Eh, give me the key. Eh, eh. Fuck, it's still locked. Eh. Eh. There we go. Pat, pat. There we go. <laughs> Shit, Clemmy, come on! Yeah, you had the gun the whole time. That didn't go so good. No, 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 no. It did not go I gotta, so good. I gotta teach you We're a few okay. things. Everything's okay. I gotta teach you a lot of things. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. Yeah, well, you took your sweet ass time about it. We found some walkers. And we kicked their asses. You and an eight-year-old. No help to you. Three of them, huh? Mm-hmm. We're badasses. We're partners. Uh, yeah. It was stupid. You think? What do you want me to say? I'm trying to teach her how to take care of herself. We're getting used to working together. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. So, hey. Why didn't she help me? She could have come along. you know what you're doing with her. I hope you're not an idiot. Um, me too. Me too. For her sake. That motherly love is boundless. All right, um, Clemmy, we gotta chat about a few you things. Sure you okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. That rush, though, eh? That rush. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get you ready. You'll learn. No. You just have to learn to pull the trigger. It's so hard. Don't think. Just do it. It could Never save happens. someone's life. Try. Mine, in particular. That's what I'm really worried about. Wait, where did I... I put that acetylene torch. 
Where did that sucker go? I Let me just take a little quick look around for supplies. This locker doesn't look like it's got a whole lot in here. Can't really explore, so yeah. I guess we're getting out of here. Clammy. Oh, he looks so sad. I want to cheer her up somehow. Give her, I don't know, whatever Clemmy's like. Hats, <laughs> apparently. Okay, let's cut this sucker down. <laughs> Aren't we gonna need like a welding a pair of welding goggles or something so I don't go blind? We'll let Kenny do it. Doesn't matter if he goes blind. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. He seems like a serial killer. I'm, he's really creepy. Excellent. I'll come up there to have a look with you. <laughs> All right. We need a lighter. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Yeah, because your eyebrows are so something. nice. I got tape, boy. All right, let's do this. Where are we gonna get the lighter, though? You need a lighter. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Oh no! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Whoa! It's dragging the whole thing down now. This thing is hanging by a thread. Even if we drop it down, like when we drop this thing down, then it's just gonna be in the way of the train right down there. Isn't that dumb? Um, let's cut it again, I guess. You can't reach it now. Crap. Um, what if you help me somehow? Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are. I'm stronger than you. God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. <laughs> Feels like fucking idiots. Oh. My. God. Guys. There's something coming. What the what? Guys. Thousands. We gotta go. It's the whole town, man. Oh me. Cut. Cut. I am. And then we're still gonna need to push this thing out of the way. All right, we did it. We did it. Oh no, there goes the ladder. Guaranteed. Kenny, go. Start it, boy. We'll jump on top as it goes by, like 007 style. Oh no, it's on fire. Shit. 007 the style. What the god, this works. Holy crap! That was such a bad idea. We gotta jump. What? No way! Dude, it's not that far. Don't be a pussy! Nothing but a little pussy. Alright, have it your way. Push it. Push him. Yeah. Have it your way. I will! You son of a- Bip! <laughs> oh, no! Shit! Oh. Come on, baby. Get him. Get him. Get him! Run! Shit, I shouldn't have pushed him. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Um, buddy. Come on in. No, her, not me. Krista, no! The what? Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know? How does she trip? Uh, baby. Nice. Okay. She's a woman, she can! <laughs> yeah, right, okay. You're the pussy, not her. Come on, please explode. That was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No, we're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is spot. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Let me, I, as soon as that thing explodes, this train go any slower? Come on. Speed up. That was a stupid idea. It didn't work at all.
She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round that mountain when she comes. Oh, what's she drawing? Is that Kenny? Let me check it out. I want to see what that is. I think she was drawing a picture of his family, maybe? That's so cute, though. Next stop, the Atlantic. We find in Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them there. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. Um. Got it's gotten too bad, you know. You, me, nobody can take all this. But we have. What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. <sighs> me too. That was Ke I when Kenny realized he fucked up. I think if we stayed at the motel, like I've never seen. something would have happened anyway. What? Is that a parent? Are they actually or who's that? It works. I thought it was broken. Wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need How does he Holy shit. How does he know I that fucking thing was broken? So did I. Who the fuck was that? How does he know my name? It's Clementine that he has her parents. Y'all might want to rethink your plan. Well, we got guns. We can take him out. That's so. How does he know my name? Has she been talking to him the whole time? That little rat, lend me your ears. <laughs> Was that literally just a reference? We're almost at the river. Did you get you that? Get on a boat. Or you want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here. I know I promised that we'd find your parents. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you. We got a creeper. I like that Ace Ventura thing right at the end. The reference. That was cool. All right. Sweet, merciful death. Did you shoot the girl in the street? You and 40% of shots. Damn. I know. It was a hard choice, but she was already being eaten. Left behind. Did you abandon Lily? You and 54% of players did not leave her. I really regret it, though. Did you fight Kenny? You and 54% of players fought him. We kicked his ass. <laughs> we kicked his ass so hard. <laughs> Just go back and look. I mean, the evidence is there. A heavy burden. You shoot duck. You and 81% of players shot him. So he's going to die in, like, maybe an hour. He wasn't even really conscious anymore. Did you help Omid? You and 60% of players helped Omid. So we all thought he was creepy and just pushed him. Here you go, dude. Enjoy. Fall off and then he broke his leg. Because he wasn't ready. Yeah, so now we're done three episodes. I just gotta do four and five now. That was a good one. I like that one. It wasn't as good as number two. But I'm hoping number four is gonna be even better than number three. Just, well, I liked it, I liked it. I don't think there was really any improvements that could be made on it. It genuinely just kicked ass. Well, I'll see you on the next one, Walking Dead. I wanna play some Conan, and there's this really weird game I found. It's called uh, 
um, they breathe. It's about a frog, and you're like swimming down through this forest, and like as you're swimming down, there's all these other frogs that are beside you, and like they're floating up, and they're all drowning, and you're like, what the hell is this? And then there's like these weird cow things, but they're actually jellyfish, which are using the frogs to breathe. So there's like some kind of war going on down below, and they're collecting frogs so that the jellyfish can use them to breathe because if you if they don't have the frogs on them, they blow up in like a couple of minutes. It's it's the weirdest game ever. Well, see you tomorrow. Adios.